dynamics very briefly. I would like to tell those topics there in your study. See, uh, as engineers, mechanical, electrical, electronics, and the science engineers, we when we build robot, we should choose motors, right? Motors to actuate our joints. Which motor should we choose? Whatever is available in the market, fine. Whatever is very heavy, high torque, should we always go for highest torque motor in the market? We have to do some optimization. We have to go within our budget, within the size, what torque is required to do some task. Okay? So imagine I have some block, and if I am making a robot to pick this block, right? Vertically up, I'm doing some tasks and then putting it down. So if I want to do this task, I can give this motion. Okay? And each link will have some mass and inertia properties associated with it. So then we run something known as inverse dynamics. Inverse dynamics means to achieve a motion, what should be the torques that are to be given at each joint? Okay? So that means you know some value of torque that is required to achieve that motion. Right? So we will choose a motor according to the torque. When I say motor, motor does here the whole setup. Okay? This is nothing but inverse dynamics. If I know the motion, of each joint, right? What should be the torque required to achieve that motion? That is known as inverse dynamics. The other way, if I know if I know what torque I am putting, right? current I am passing through, which will be converted into torque, which is going to move my robot like this. Okay. So if I pass certain torque inside my motors, how my robot will behave? Okay. So that is nothing but forward dynamics. If I am applying forces on the robot and I am applying torque. Okay? So forward dynamics is torque to motion. How my robot is moving. Inverse dynamics is for a particular motion, what are the different torques that are required in each one. Okay? So technically, inverse dynamics is more useful to select motors plus gearbox. Forward dynamics is used for control strategy and simulation to see how the robot will actually uh, behave. Okay? And also in some control modules, I saw something that I run somewhere dynamics of the robot will also be considered. That is typically used in forward dynamics. 